This is Chris Orr's for Landscaping, and today we're going to actually be comparing two um, <clears throat> different, uh, well, one patio and a walkway, um, different parts of the landscape. This patio was installed by Chris Orr's for Landscaping about five or six years ago, um, and you can see that there's all the, the gaps in between the pavers, they're all uh, equidistant from each other and that is because we put an edge restraint in, on the edge of the patio so there's no um, <clears throat> the the pavers don't slide out over time um, compared to a walkway which has no edge restraint and you can see that the pavers over time have slid out so the spaces, the joints in between each paver are not uh, uniform and you can see there's one big gap there versus a smaller gap there and that's because there's no edge restraint there. Um, so there are little things that are done um, on patios and walkways that really uh, make it stand the test of time and here at Chris Orr's for Landscaping we take every um, measure and precaution um, to uh, sustain that landscape for as long as possible and to stand the test of time. Again, this, this is five years ago and there's virtually no weeds. Um, again, all the joints uh, in between the pavers are all equidistant. Nothing is pushing out from each other and that is because of the uh, edge, rest edge restraint as you can see um, right there along the grass line. Um, but this is uh, Again, it's just a testament of Chris Orr's for landscaping and how we put patios together and our dedication to uh, client satisfaction. And again, as you can see over here, um, this patio, just the walkway just didn't stand the test of time because of the edge restraint, because of other techniques that Chris Orr's uses in every project. And um, you can see the difference.